quick introduction to the idea of roles in a web application. I've added a new field to my users table, role ID, which is just an, a number. And uh, I've given a couple of numbers there. Uh, so Charlie Smith has got role ID 2. And Mr. Van Levy has role ID 1. I've also made this table for roles. Role ID 1 is admin and 2 is user. So Mr. Charlie Smith is just a user and Mr. Van Levy is just an admin. So I'm not actually using this table in the application yet. No doubt there will be an opportunity later. So back in the application, not many changes here. I have when I get down to having the user logged in, um, I actually go and get from the user details, which was this uh, collected the information from the table. I go and get the role ID, and uh, that's just because it's a array and of dictionaries, as it were. In fact, we only want one value because there's only ever one uh, value returned from this. Anyway, so um, I've then specified, I've set this into a session variable of role ID. So what have I done with that? Some obvious stuff, you know, if I'm logged in and my role is one, which you will recall one is admin, then um, we're authorized on the admin page, otherwise we're not. Uh, also on the index page, I have as well as being logged in, I've said if my role is one, give me a link to the admin page. Let's see what that looks like in practice. So if I go to the page and I log in, and I'm going to log in as Charlie Smith, who only has user rights, no admin rights, I do not have a link. And if I go, because I'm cunning, to the admin page, even though there's no link, it says unauthorized. So I'm going to try logging in again. I'm going to log in this time as BLY with his own super secret password. And log in. I now have a link to the admin page. And when I go to the admin page, I am authorized. Obviously, there's a lot more complexity than that to managing roles on a page. Uh, but it gives you the basic idea.